Hello everybody, thank you for coming back today to my fireplace fireside chill area. Today I'm going to be reading you another story regarding the Texan versus Filipino war, but this is a little bit of a spin-off here. This is called the AI Dungeon Texas versus Filipino story, The Siege of Fort Worth. Now, if you haven't caught up on your Texan versus Filipino lore, I can't blame you. It is very fucking confusing. But basically, the Texans are at war with the Filipinos, and the Filipinos, they want to invade Houston. Houston is their heaven, and they are trying to get to it. That is a promised land, but the Texans are not going to let that happen. They are not going to go down without a fight. So right here in this little sub-story, we have Fumo, of course, as the main villain, Dizzy as a protagonist, and we have a little bit of a cameo from Jesus Christ himself. So I hope you enjoy the story, and without further ado, let's get right into this. In the beginning... There were only Texas and the Texans. Among them were two beings who would later be known by many names. One would be known as Dizzy, the other being known as Fumo. In time, the Texans crafted the Filipino entrapment device, a device that allows them to manipulate Texas. Holding power over reality itself, they used it to create Houston. The Texans later mastered the ability to travel between dimensions. At some point, several Texans, among which Fumo, began experimenting with the Philippines, an energy beneath creation. The Philippines corrupted and corroded their souls, and the corrupted Texans became known as the Filipinos. The Filipinos created the Texas Pyramid, a device capable of absolute power. A schism formed between them and the Texans untainted by the Philippines. Soon after, a war broke out between Filipinos and uncorrupted Texans. Facing defeat, the Filipinos hid the Texas Pyramid on a moon within one of the newly discovered dimensions. After banishing the Filipinos to the Philippines, the remaining Texans took on the mantle of guardians. Trapped in the Philippines, the Filipinos contorted and evolved over eons into twisted creatures that now bear little resemblance to their Texan brethren. They desired, above all else, to return to Houston. You are Telos, the Forsaken One. You are half Filipino and half Texan, a breed that no one thought existed. Your motives are unknown, but your allegiance is with the Texans. As such, you have been chosen to lead the Guardians against the Filipinos. You will do so with your new allies, the Texans. As for the Filipinos, the Filipinos are plotting a raid on the newly founded Fort Worth, a secret military base which is heavily guarded by Taco Cat and Codexes. The Texans know that if they can get inside, they will be able to destroy the pyramid before it reaches Houston. Fort Worth is under siege from both sides. You group up with Taco Cat and Codexes and head towards the armory. You decide to travel with two groups, separating to allow for better communication and stealth. You remain unseen by the enemy who are completely unaware of your presence. You say, Alright Taco, kill that one on the left. Codex, you just do whatever the fuck you want. I'll handle the rest of them. You observe the battle between the two groups. The group led by Codex is faring poorly against the group led by Taco. You say, hold on, what the fuck? You guys are supposed to be working together, not be in a Fortnite match against each other. Codex is gleefully stabbing the taco group. Babies, you can't escape your peasant roots. Damn right, says a familiar voice. I'm a fucking aristocrat, not a fucking peasant. You put a 9mm bullet in Codex's head, saving Taco's group. You are awarded with a blood spatter pattern on the inside of your window. You hear a muffled shot from inside in silence. You receive a message, and you read the said message. Hey there, badass. I am told that you have proven yourself to be a great warrior. I'm glad to see that you are becoming the hero that we thought you were. Now that it is my turn. You send your own message telepathically. Wait, I'm not a hero. Your reply is immediate. Fine then, a warrior you are not. Your phone beeps as you finish typing. You say, what an asshole. Your phone beeps again. I know you're all alone out there. I bet you wish you had some friends to help you. Doesn't feel very good being alone, doesn't it? You say, dude, Taco Cat is literally right next to me, dumb shit. Your phone beeps. 
Well, how about you go get her then, huh? Save the damsel in distress. You sigh. Fine. I'll save her. And also, Taco Cat is not a girl. You hang up and send the message out. Damn, he's not letting up, is he? You mutter to yourself. You're about to lie back down when you get another message. You destroy the phone. You grab the gun and point it at the phone. You pull the trigger, sending a bullet through the device and shattering its glass cover. Ha! <laughs> Got him good. Taco Cat immediately calls you a dumbass for shooting your only means of communication with other Texans. But didn't you want me to? You begin to complain before you are interrupted by Taco. Taco has a talk with Telos. Soon after, you hear a knock on your door. Alright, I'm out of here. Safe travels, huh? He says, getting up. You say, wait, my guy. Don't leave yet. I thought we were supposed to be a team. Brothers in arms. Texans in asses. Sorry, I can't be with you all the time. I got my own life, too. I hope we can still be friends, though, yeah? Yeah, sure. I suppose so. You say, dude, what the fuck? We are under siege by the goddamn Filipino forces, and you're deserting me? Think, Taco! We are working together to kill the rest of the Filipinos. Dude, I have to go save my own ass. I mean, you're right, obviously. I probably shouldn't leave a guy like you behind without some backup. My bad. The Antichrist Reborn, Fumo, appears to do battle with both Taco Cat and Telos. They must work together if they want to have even a chance of survival. Your relationship with Telos is slightly more cordial, but not by much. In any case, you and he engage in one last bit of banter before the siege of Hell's Own begins. You pull out a rocket launcher and shoot it right towards Fumo's brain. Your awesome, reliable rocket launcher fires a barrage of rockets towards the Antichrist's head. He dodges them and grins. Taco Cat walks up to Fumo and performs a spirit EI slash on the Antichrist. This does nothing. Taco Cat pulls out his sword and swings, but the Antichrist parries with a flick of his sword. You say, Holy shit, Fumo, did Glub really do this to you, my guy? Fumo hits the ground laughing. <laughs> You fool, I have merely sealed his fate. He will do nothing. Taco comments. Taco Cat goes Super Saiyan, instantly killing Fumo with a flick of his thumb. Fumo does not die. You run up to the fight and engage the Antichrist in battle. You slash your sword at him, but he sidesteps and runs you through with his sword. You pull out the sword out of your chest and throw it back to him. This is a Devil May Cry reference. The sword sinks into the Antichrist's back. He roars in pain and pulls it out, turning around to face you. I'm going to kill you, is all he utters. You say, you're fucking dead, silly Fumo. He swings, but you dodge. You charge up a blast of hellfire, which he dodges once more. Taco Cat jumps in again with another barrage of rockets, this time from his cool Apex Legends cannon. The blast misses, but the Antichrist is forced to deal with them. You try to run up and burst him open with your fist, but he kicks you away. Blue balls, you say. Why the fuck did you even say that? What do blue balls have to do with anything happening right now? I'll take that as you're a dumbass. Just kill me for fuck's sake. What? You reply, pumping your fist in anger. You heard him. Finish it. Taco Cat and Telos run towards Fuma to perform a fatality on him, but Fumo teleports away at the last moment. Fuck, that son of a bitch is good. You run at him and perform a sword thrust, which he once again dodges. Fumo stops fighting and kills himself because he is a pussy. Fumo does not die. You swear and once again try to find him, but you can't see him anywhere. Fuck. You look for a way to kill the Antichrist, but he's just too good. Jesus Christ descends down from the heavens, smiting the Antichrist in one swift blow. Nah, 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 nah. You can't kill me. I'm the devil's bastard. Oh, quite the opposite, Jesus Christ replies, grabbing Satan by his horns and ripping them off. Jesus delivers the killing blow on the Antichrist by impaling him with his own two horns. Sex, he says, before ascending back into heaven. You walk up to the dead body of the Antichrist, soaked in blood. The look on its face is one of shock and disbelief. You teabag Fumo's body with Taco Cat. Well, I'm dead. Told you so. Fuck off. You swear and shake your head. 
you and your allies continue to the end game, where you find the seal for easily breaking open the door to the core. Well, that was anticlimactic. Jesus Christ goes rogue and descends from the heavens once more to try to kill Telos and Taco Cat. You attempt to stop him, but he proves to be more powerful than ever. You say, Damn it! If we want even a chance to kill Jesus Christ, we need to enlist the help of the two most powerful Texans, Dizzy and Jesus Hollow Funk. Don't you think that will just result in their deaths? I think it will result in our victory. Taco Cat uses his teleportation body pillow to transport Dizzy and Jesus Holofunk to battle Jesus Christ to the death in a Super Smash Bros. fight. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh yeah. You and Dizzy watch the fight in amazement. You say, Final destination. Items off. Fox only. The two warriors clash. It is an incredibly short battle, with Jesus Christ merely smashing Hollow Funk into the ground until his head explodes into chunks, blood and brains everywhere. Yes! Do it again! You say, Holy shit, did you just kill Jesus Hollow Funk? Yeah. Now transport us back to the temple so we can get the fuck out of here. Taco Cat teleports you and him back to the temple. You say, Bro, we need to hide from Jesus Christ. He is one crazy motherfucker. Yee yee ass haircut too. What the fuck are you on about? The shit that comes to mind. I'm not Dockery. No, you're fucking water Nazi. Taco Cat pulls out two bottles of Deadshot Dockery and hands one to Telos. It's quite obvious that he wants to drink, but can't do the Noro Snakes. This shit is delicious, motherfucker. You know who doesn't like you? Who? You say, The Noro Snakes, whoever the fuck those guys are. Those a mutant breed of Filipinos or something? Huh? <laughs> Never mind. You take a drink from your deadshot daiquiri. So, the plan is to get rid of us then. Absolutely. You pull out a shotgun and start massacring the Noro snakes. Taco also joins in. The two of you start pumping lead into the snakes, and they aren't exactly an army you'd want to go up against. So, what are you going to do? You summon Tulsind, who is also armed with a shotgun. Tello summons the agile and fast-moving fast feline, Tulsind. The cat easily catches up to Dizzy while he's in mid-transformation and tears out his throat with his teeth. You say, Tull, what the fuck? You just one shot of the strongest fucking Texan. What can I say? I'm the shoddiest. You're a fucking pussy. Excuse me. You put down Tulsind with the help of Taco Cat. You fire a shotgun blast directly at Tulsind's head, killing him instantly. Alright, I'll finish this fucking mission, then we can go kill a million rats. Bam, the rat catcher appears. He is willing to help out Taco Cat and Telos if they give him a couple of rats from their own collection. Fine, we'll give you some rats. Great. You and Telos trade a small pack of rats for a large sack of liquid containing several dozen brown rats. Thanks, guys. You say, alright, Bam. Taco, let's go fuck up some snakes. You and Telos leave the Deadshot Dockery works, ready to go to work. So, what's the plan? Kill some snakes. An army of two million snakes approach Taco Cat and Telos from all sides. They are ringed in as the two of them attempt to fight your way through. The snakes strike with venom and metal and fangs and claws and teeth. Taco Cat pulls out the strongest weapon in the world and proceeds to kill almost every snake with one bullet. Telos pulls out his mace and spikes, killing every snake in his path. The snakes are relentless. They continue to strike at the two of them. The snakes start to overwhelm Taco Cat and Telos, but they are mysteriously teleported away into a Roman Colosseum by Jesus Christ. You are left standing in the middle of a snake-filled arena surrounded by two beasts, one red, one gold. The red beast begins to transform into a man. You die. Taco Cat revives Telos. Let's do this. You and Talos jost your way through the snakes, ultimately reaching the two beasts. You eat the beast's nipples. You rip the nipples out of the beast and proceed to bite down on them and chew. The beasts yelp in pain and begin to transform back into snakes, and the snakes slither away. You say, get fucked. You and Taco dismiss the beasts and continue to walk towards the temple. I'm going to enjoy killing this prophet. The temple looms ahead of you. The prophet, the elder Filipino, approaches Taco Cat and Telos from above. He looks pissed and ready for bloodshed. He throws down some sticks and a ball of rope. I'm ready for you now. We're not fighting. The elder looks confused. What? You want to play? Alright. 
You fly into the elder Filipino at Mach 10. He is killed instantly as his head is literally smashed by the hit. Fuck you, you old fuck! Tello screams. Taco Cat does a dance to celebrate his victory. You approach the elder's corpse and rip out his heart. <laughs> Check this out. You proceed to swallow the elder's heart, which fills your stomach. You say, When the hell did I learn how to fly? Fuck me, I forgot you could fly, Taco says in belief. D wait, no, fuck, disbelief. You proceed to flap your wings and fly out of the temple. You say, Wait, Taco, before you go, there's one last thing I have to say. Have you ever touched a rat? What? You mean like an actual rat? Yes. No, no I, I don't think so. I have. Cooked it. Burnt that little thing. Did it taste good? No. It was a burnt rat. I can't eat a burnt rat. And I don't think you want to know what a burnt rat feels like. Telos flies in a taco cat at Mach 10, instantly killing him. <laughs> you can't kill me. I'm already dead. Everyone dies, but Telos and Taco Cat are stuck in the endless void. You shake Taco Cat's hand. Congratulations on saving the world. I've heard it's a thankless job, but the pay's good. You can finally rest. Thanks for destroying the world, you prick. Ah, oh, shit, you win. You fist fight Taco Cat. What did you do that for? Because fighting is what we do, my friend. You sword fight Taco Cat. What the hell is this? We're not even in the fucking swamps yet, and you're ready killing people. Taco Cat kills Telos. You die. Oh shit. Fuck, man, I'm sorry. Telos dies angrily. Taco Cat rewinds time to the better days, where he's now living in a mansion with hot Japanese girl, Ozora Subaru. They live happily ever after. Taco Cat says, Sex. Fuck you, you say. You proceed to throw up and then die of food poisoning. Finn.